see uh, he was on uh, bed for more than two months so obviously he had a lot of weakness he had a lot of infections everything and once the lung was uh, transplanted we continued the ECMO support for some time so the next day because we didn't want anything to happen in the night so next day morning we assessed lungs were functioning well so we could wean off the ECMO so we removed the ECMO next day then he was awake but he was on a ventilatory support and we assessed his uh, lung function for another two days we look at his uh, breathing so breathing was full so we removed the ventilator then of course he required uh, rehabilitation as i said earlier dr rajendran must be here he is the one who actually took the lead in uh, rehabilitation otherwise it is not easy to get them out of the bed yeah he is walking around he is eating well and uh, he is uh, i think one thing i have to appreciate even though he is 78 year old he is a gold man he smiles he is so much encouraged otherwise we see so many people depressed or uh, not uh, not willing to walk everything but he was very cooperative very positive minded and one more thing we have to appreciate the family they are very supportive when the patient is going through all these things they wanted whatever the best possible thing to be done to you know, my dad was always healthy you know he didn't have any medical conditions or anything it was uh, extremely unusual unfortunate what happened to him uh, one night you know we were visiting for a wedding uh, in Bangalore and uh, he had he was in a deep sleep and then vomited and aspirated a lot of food into his lungs so his lungs uh, he was admitted in a, a, a hospital in Bangalore and at that time we felt that you know maybe they can recover but the damage was so severe that uh, they just never recovered and we were looking for any other opportunity because even though despite his age, um, he was just very, very strong and we knew that, you know, he could make it if we uh, ended up doing a transplant or anything. So that's when uh, one of my cousins, we found out about MGM and uh, had come to meet with Dr. Suresh Rao and Dr. Bala and uh, they were very helpful and uh, they were very, um, you know, sure that, you know, they can take on this case because they've taken a lot of complicated cases. Um, a lot of other hospitals, you know, because of the age factor and everything, they wouldn't even give us a chance to explain his story. So I was truly grateful that, you know, MGM and, you know, uh, both of the doctors were, you know, positive and would try anything uh, to help save his life. So, um, yeah, it was, it's been a good experience. You know, they've really taken care of them, like their own family. And, uh, you know, I'm just really grateful that he's made it this far and that he, you know, is going to continue to do well. It was on a movie or Bangalore when the phone on the ஒருமாசம் <laughs> பாக்கி எல்லா சிஸ்டமும் நல்லா இருக்கு நல்ல நினைவுல இருக்க கிட்னி நல்லா வேலை பண்றது ஹார்ட் நல்லா வேலை பண்றது ஆனா எக்மோல இருந்து எடுக்க முடியல எக்மோல வந்து ஒரு மாசம் ஒன்றரை மாசத்துக்கு அப்புறம் எக்மோ கண்டினியூ பண்ண முடியாது ஏன்னா அதோட ஆக்சிஜனேட்டர் வேலை பண்ணாது அப்புறம் ஸ்ட்ரோக் ப்ரீடிங் நிறைய காம்ப்ளிகேஷன் தான் வரும் ஆனா அந்த ஃபேமிலி ரொம்ப ஆர்வமா இருந்தாங்க எல்லா பண்ணாங்க எங்க அப்பா என்ன பண்ணாலும் நீங்க காப்பாற்றணும் ஸோ நாங்கள் லங் டிரான்ஸ்பிளான்ட பற்றி யோசித்தோம் இது இது சாதாரணமான டிசிஷன் இல்லை ஏன்னா எழுபத்தெட்டு வயசு எக்மோ டூ அறுபது நாள் உலகத்தில் அந்த மாதிரி அதாவது பண்ணது கிடையாது 
அப்புறம் எங்களுக்கு ஒரு டோனர் கிடைச்சது வேற ஒருத்தருக்கும் அந்த லங்க் சுட்டுபடா இல்லை அதனால இவர் பண்ணினோம் ஆனால் லக்கிலி எல்லாம் சரியாக போயிடுச்சு அடுத்த நாள் லக்கம் எடுத்துட்டோம் அவர் ரிக்கவர் ஆகிறதுக்கு இன்னும் ஒரு ரெண்டு மாதம் ஆச்சு ஏன்னா அந்த வயசுல வயசு எல்லாம் ரொம்ப வீக்காக இருக்கும் சார் ஃபிசியோதெரப்பெல்லாம் பண்ணி இப்போ அவர் நல்லா சிரிச்சின்னு பேஷண்ட் நடக்கிறார் திரு